Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video. And today's video, we're going to be doing some more leaks again because you guys really, really seem to like the leak videos. And if you guys do want to see some more leak videos, definitely let me know by leaving a like and a comment. And then also subscribe if you just want to see more leaks because I actually really enjoy doing these as well. So the leaks that I want to go over in today's video is all of the Apex Legends characters that are supposed to be coming out throughout the next couple I guess years because it seems like that at this rate that they've uploaded a new character over two months so about six a year um, and we already just got crypto so the next one I'm not too terribly sure what the order will be but I'm definitely gonna read you guys like almost 10 characters and what their abilities are and everything the only thing I just don't want to show you guys just due to risk of potentially getting copyright is the sketch art uh, the sketch art looks really, really cool. I definitely will provide a link down below in the description if you got, uh, guys want to go check it out for yourself, but it's YouTube 2019, so I can't show it directly in the video. Uh, but yeah, anyways, other than that, let's get on with the actual leaks. So I got a window up here, so that's why you'll hear a mouse clicking. And I'm just going to read literally all the characters' uh, stuff, like their names. Um, I'll even, maybe I guess, describe what they look like if that makes it a little bit easier. Um, just so that way you guys can kind of envision what the character looks like. Now keep in mind, all these abilities are subject to change. These might not be the actual full-on characters at release. This is just what we know of so far. So forgive me if this is going to be incorrect a little bit, but this is what we have seen. And this seems, in my opinion, to be a reliable leak um, from this website. So this is going to be the first character. The first character is called Rose. Uh, she kind of looks like, um, in, in my opinion, kind of like a... 30 year old woman um you know uh, brown slash black hair um kind of seems like that she's a little bit slender of a character so her hitbox probably won't be that big she doesn't really look like she would be a tank character um these are some of her abilities uh eye for quality uh rose can see through walls and can get up into hidden compartments in loot bins uh, not too terribly sure what that would be. I'm assuming that's got to be some type of loot-based ability. It's probably going to be able to help her get much more loot for her team. Uh, supply for demand. Hold a button. Doesn't say which one. To choose a type of loot. Reveal that type of loot in the area through walls. This could be really, really good. It'll let you know whether or not that there's a uh, legendary or a you know epic even around the map in case like you're in a highly populated area and you need it or you're competing for it stuff like that this might also be good for the, uh, finding a ball if you're not too familiar with the map then we also got burglar's best friend throw a disc and teleport into that location so it's similar to uh sombra's teleport beacon uh then we got a uh, black market um, boutique um but it uh, says place a device that can steal all nearby loot this seems really really good it basically i guess would be a automatic grabbing device for loot so if you were let's say pinched and you need like you know let's say a new piece of armor just chuck the thing out then you get the armor that seems pretty straightforward and it looks really really good uh now the next one is nomad uh nomad seems kind of like a hillbilly redneck type of character based off the way he looks uh ginger uh has like mutton shops uh, very hairy literally everywhere. He's got hair and really spot like weird places. I know that sounds bad, but just hear me out um, So these are his abilities uh, his passive is pack mule uh, Nomad and his teammates have additional backpack space. That'd be really really cool um, His tactical is loot compress follow the loot compress to the nearest item um, I'm not really too sure what that one would be so I'm not gonna necessarily try to explain it because I might be wrong uh, ultimate is crafting table. Place a crafting table down and scrap scavengeable materials and purchase items. This seems really, really useful. It sounds like that if you get lucky, you can make your own items such as armor or backpacks or healing items. This could be very clutch, and I would love to see something where it's just like, oh, hey, you're in the final circle. You've had no med kits the whole game. Here's a med kit. Or you've had no shields the whole game. Here's some shields. Like, that would be super useful because there's some games in Apex Legends of the State where you cannot find anything. Uh, the next one is Revenant. Uh, Revenant, uh, his abilities, it's the, uh, his passive is called Infiltrator. Climb walls higher and crouch walk faster, so sort of like Skulker or Dexterity. Um, mark for death. Fire a poisonous dagger. Press again to reveal the target's location for up to 60 seconds. The mark is removed if the target heals to full. This is very, 
very strong sounding. It sounds like that literally I can see that every tryhard and their mom would use this. It basically makes it that way people just can't hide. If somebody's like, let's say, hiding somewhere after you lasered into them and you just genuinely want to kill them because they're so frustrating, this makes sure that they will not escape you. Because very rarely, if someone is being pursued, they can get to full health again. So this almost is a guaranteed, like, you know, VSAT, which is really, really cool. Uh, then we got Poison Bomb. Launch a poisonous bomb that damages and slows down targets. This skill will likely deal uh, area of effect. So this seems like it's also really, really cool. So it's basically like a cost of trap, but like a Semtex style. Um, so this being comboed, like his like see-through ability and then being able to chuck this, this seems amazing. And then we also got another one called Death Recall, uh, which is drop a totem that protects everyone who uses it from death. Instead of getting killed or down, you'll return to the totem with 20 health. That is also really, really strong. If this is all his abilities in just one kit, this character already sounds broken. Totem of death. Like, like, or death recalled. Like, you literally cannot die. You get a extra life. It's like a portable beacon, like, for when you respawn. That's amazing. That That's gonna come into clutch if that actually stays. And to kind of describe, um, the character, he kind of looks like a weird version of Octane. Um, best way I can describe it is that he seems like Octane, but, like, Halloween-like. It, it's weird. It's, like, literally his same model, so, um, that's interesting. Uh, next we got Immortal. Um, Immortal, his abilities, it's, it's passive, is interesting here. Um, hard to kill. When you get down, you can revive yourself. So, literally, you get a gold knockdown shield every life. That sounds amazing. Um, so if you time that right, you can sneak up on people and really throw them off. Um, his tactical is shield charger slash teardown. Alright, so here is his tactical. It's called shield charger slash teardown. Unleash a cloud of nanites to charge your team's shields or hit a target with a cloud of nanites to kill their shields for a short period of time. So he's basically like a tech wizard. Um, it's kind of funny. He seems kind of like a Destiny character. He's got like a cape and he's got like a blue symbol of like an eagle in the front. He's got like a full-on mask. This looks cool. Uh, Ultimate is called Rise of the Phoenix. He restores your health and your shields to full and gives nearby teammates 30 seconds of self-revive for 8 seconds to charge. Um, or it takes X 8 seconds to charge. That also seems really, really good. He also seems to give teammates a lot of uh, benefits here, similar to the last character. Next we got Blisk. Uh, he kind of seems like an older guy. Um, maybe like in his 60s at least he's got a full gray beard full gray hair um, But he seems ripped so he seems like he's really in shape um, Blisk's abilities his passive is interrogation Executing an enemy will reveal the location of their allies for 10 seconds that can be a little bit annoying because I think that's gonna incentivize BMing um, But yeah, that will be useful to be able to find their teammates so people can't flank you uh, his tactical throwing knife deal 20 damage and mark the target killing a marked target rewards double credits um, that's really, really cool. His ultimate's Payday. Squad kills award credits and spend the credits on powerful supplies. So, Sims kind of similar to the building uh, aspect where you get to earn your own stuff. Um, now you got Rampart. Uh, Rampart seems kind of like really, really early stages of development, but it looks like he's wearing, or he, or he or she, I'm not sure, um, has like a constructions outfit. Um, yellow and blue, has like a hat on, like you would see like a normal construction worker wear. Um, Rampart's abilities, there's Amped Cover, builds cover that provides a damage boost to anyone standing near it, can be picked up and moved, so it's like a torque barricade that gives you a damage buff. Um, my friend Maxim, um, place a mounted machine gun that anyone in the squad can use, it uses heavy ammo, so you get like a built-in LMG. Uh, Fixer, swapping to melee equips a wrench players can use uh, to repair their structures, so that's also really cool, you can repair your little turret thing. Um, cover fire. Firing from a amped cover overcharges your weapon damage, so your your damage uh, gets boosted every time you're near this thing, it seems like. And then you also got gunner. LMGs have increased magazine capacity and reload faster. So this basically seems like a camper's best friend is a rampart. If you want to camp, I would say this is going to be a tank character, like, all the way. Uh, next we got Jericho. Jericho seems like a tank also, just based off his stature, but maybe he isn't. Um, he's got a cigar, he's blonde, he's got a, a nasty beard. Not nasty, like gross, but he's like a, it's like a really big-ass beard. Um, he's muscly, uh, he's got like a whole bunch of armor and everything. Um, here's his abilities, his passive is Ballistic Shield Protection. Your Ballistic Shield protects your back when you are not actively using it. That could be really, really good, no getting shot in the back. 
um, his potential tactical is ballistic shield, a full body shield that protects you from your uh, from incoming fire. So sort of like a Gibraltar bubble, I guess, for yourself. Uh, potential ultimate here, uh, shield breaker javelins. Throw two electric uh, electri uh, the, the two electrically charged javelins that burn through enemy body shields. That also seems really interesting. Uh, Skunker. Uh, Skunker looks like a uh, African American character uh, with a uh, kind of like a robe outfit, and uh, that's pretty much it for the sketch art, at least so far. I'm gonna guess like 30s, 40s. Um, his abilities or her abilities, not to terribly sure the gender of this character yet. Uh, maybe it's it's alien or toaster because it seems like everyone's weird about genders lately. Uh, <laughs> passive is light step. You are not slowed down by debris traps and do not have to leave tra uh, traversal evidence for trackers. So that immediately seems like a stealth character. Uh, tactical is uh, debris trap. Uh, drop a pile of debris that slows and damages enemies when they move through it. And then the ultimate is... Um, something I can't pronounce right now at the moment, a uh, barrier grenade. Instantly create a spiked barricade made from rapid harnessing uh, resin. I'm not too terribly sure what that would be. Um, but yeah, so it seems like you get uh, a little bit of a, a cool ability there. Uh, then the next character, this character uh, I'm assuming is Russian based off the way they look, um, and plus also the hat, um, but it's a uh, Russian looking female character. And forgive me if I'm mispronouncing the name here, but it's Hershena? Hersh Hershera. But uh, anyway, her abilities, um, her passive would be Shotgun Kick, a uh, benching shotgun on your uh, craft that discharges when you melee doors or enemies requires shotgun ammo. Okay. Uh, Tactical's Flashbang. Throw a grenade that briefly blinds and deafens opponents. Okay, so she gets flashbang. Ultimate, concussive breaching charge. Plant a breaching charge that fires a sonic wave through walls to destroy traps, uh, force open doors, and disorient enemies. So this seems like Ash, or Ash, but Russian. Uh, then we got Prophet or Seer, because the name's not confirmed. This character also is in like the very early stages of development. Um, blonde, stringy hair. Uh, there's literally no eyeball texture, so I'm, I'm not really too sure about other than that, but it's blonde. Um, prop, we're just going to go with Profit. Profit's ability for passive is sniper training, increased accura uh, accuracy while ADS and start uh, the game off with a scope, so it's like a sniper character. Uh, next is the tactical spotter sight. Scan the environment for enemies and gathers information on targets found. Um, not too terribly sure about gathering information, maybe like their health or their armor or their weapons, mm, I don't know. Uh, ultimate triple tap. Equips a silent sniper rifle with three shots. It seems exactly like the Prophet that we know from Black Ops 4, actually, so that's kind of funny. Uh, Downfall. Downfall has literally no model whatsoever other than a silhouette. It looks like a guy, um, and it looks like they're throwing a Maltov. I genuinely can't tell. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess the only thing that I know for sure is that it's a guy, just because of the way the, the silhouette is. The body stature is very much like a guy. Yeah, that is a very beefy woman. Um, there is some other beefy women that we know about in video games, so... Um, the abilities looks like for passive is burning anger, dealing damage builds rage, filling your rage meter makes you immune to fire damage for 20 seconds. Um, tactical is fire uh, sale, drop a box of four Molotovs anyone in your squad can pick up and throw. I don't know how strong those will be, but that's cool to see there's Molotovs. Uh, the ultimate reign of fire, fire a cascade of incendiary rockets, that could be like a fiery airstrike. Uh, then we got Volk. Uh, once again, Volk, very early stages. I can't even tell what this is, if it's a guy, person, a robot, whatever. Um, but it, it doesn't even look human, so... Uh, but anyways, we're just going to basically read the abilities. Uh, the abilities is just passive afterburners. Um, after initial drop, Volk and her teammates, so it's a chick, um, fly faster while skydiving. So you get an extra uh, boost to your landing speed. That simply alone could make a huge difference. If you could land before somebody and you can get better loot, that would actually be a godsend. Uh, tactical VTOL jets. Hold the button to hover a, a VTOL jet so you get like an exosuit. Um, this is sounding more like a robot character. Um, and then ultimate, Skyward. Volk and nearby allies take to the skies after a short countdown. So it seems like a group exosuit. Okay, so that seems very interesting. So that is all the characters that have been leaked and all their abilities. 
Um, I hope you guys ended up being able to kind of envision the characters based off of what I described. Once again, I'm sorry I can't provide the images. I'm just very worried with YouTube 2019 that it will give me a copyright strike. But I will definitely provide a link down below in the description if you guys want to see this stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the leaks for all these upcoming characters. Don't know when they will come out. Don't know which ones are coming out in what order. I don't even know if necessarily any of these characters will be the exact way that they are basically described here. But it is kind of cool to look at this to see like the initial idea of what might be to come. Anyways, guys, hope you ended up enjoying. If you ended up enjoying, please make sure you drop a thumbs up because that's always greatly appreciated. And I'll be able to let you be able to tell me that you guys want to see some more leaked videos or just stuff like this. And then also subscribe and comment so that way I also know when you guys want me to uh, you know, make these types of videos or how often and stuff like that. It's very much appreciated. I hope you guys end up having a wonderful night. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, no matter when you're watching this from. Hopefully you have a great you know, um, Kwanzaa, Happy Christmas, New Year, Halloween, Easter, Summer, Fourth of July, whatever the hell you're selling. Writing. <laughs> and I will see you and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching and peace out.